So there's really only one way to train your body to run faster for longer. I ran a three hour and 20 minute marathon a year ago and right now I'm currently training to run a sub three hour marathon. So as you can tell, I have 20 minutes to shave off of that. And the way to do that is through speed workouts. And today I have a 10 mile speed workout that I'm gonna take you along with me, show you the workout, explain how to do it, and explain how you can incorporate speed workouts in your training to become a faster runner. All right, it is Tuesday morning. Tuesdays are speed workout days. I've been low-key dreading it all morning, but I finally dragged myself out of bed, so we're here. The shoes I'm gonna be running in today are the Alpha Fly 2s. Now, just a side note, if you're looking to spend money on Alpha Flies, I would go with the version 1s. I actually like them a lot better. I ran my first marathon in them, and they're just like softer. These, I don't know how to explain it, other than these just feel a lot more firm and just just less comfortable. But I'm gonna wear these today, even though I just dogged on them a little bit. Um, but it's a good idea when you're trying to go fast, trying to do a speed workout or a race, to wear race day shoes. That's why in training you should always have at least two pairs of shoes, an easy day shoe and a race day shoe. Um, but race day shoes are a little different than just like your everyday shoes because they have a carbon fiber plate. And Alpha Flies also have a little energy pod right there. Um, so both these things combined make this shoe very fast, very responsive, and so I'm going to be wearing these today and dropping some fast pace miles in these. Pre-run fuel, I'm having honey and this little kind bar. I'm not really hungry, but I do need some energy and calories in me, so I'm just going to have some of this. I don't know, like a tablespoon or so. I don't like having too much in my stomach. <clears throat> Ugh. <laughs> I don't like having too much in my stomach on a run, especially when I'm like running fast and I feel like I want to die. Um, and so, like I just, a little bar like this is fine. Just something to tide me over to after the run, then I can have breakfast and like a bigger meal. But for now, this is good. And face the fear. That's my way. So yesterday I went to the chiropractor for the first time in my life because I've been having some pain in my back. There have been like two instances now where I've been like bending over or reaching for something and my back is just like tweaked and it like, it was so painful I had to like lay down for like an hour and then it eventually like goes away but then a week later it happened again and so I just kind of was like I need to go see a chiropractor to see what he has to say. So he adjusted me, did this like cupping thing it was kind of intense it felt like my back was like being burned but um, he gave me some tips and advice on things and stretches and exercises I can do to help alleviate the pain and like prevent it um, but if any of you have dealt with back pain let me know in the comments something that helped you um, recover from it or just like prevent it in the first place that'd be super helpful you already know the drill at this point it's time for a pre-run fit check on feet, as I said earlier, I have the Alpha Fly version twos, and then I have my five inch Nike trail shorts, favorite running shorts of all time, and then I'm literally just wearing a white polyester t-shirt from Target. I'm also gonna be listening to music on this run. I don't listen to music every run, but I like doing it on days where I have big workouts. It just gets me pumped up and helps me just push through the workout. So I'm gonna throw on some NF and get after it. I'm gonna take you through my 10 mile speed workout and before I get into it, I wanna say that these are meant to be hard. Like these workouts should push you. 
The reason you do the majority of your mileage throughout the week at an easy pace is so that when you get to your speed work, you're able to push yourself hard and just give it everything you got. I'm starting out this workout with a two mile warm up. I'm always doing a two mile warm up. It's super important for a couple of reasons. One, it just mentally gets you in the mindset of what needs to happen after your warm up's over. And two, it just warms up your body and gets you ready and primed to be able to run fast. So you don't just wanna go into a speed workout just cruising right off the bat you want to make sure you take time go at an easy pace and get that warm-up in now I know two miles seems like a lot especially for a warm-up and it is but part of marathon prep is training your body to push past you know when it's tired so when you pre fatigue your muscles with that two mile warm-up and then you got to go into speed work it's great training for those later miles in a marathon for me my easy pace is around an 830 but everyone's different the way you find out what your easy pace is is just run at a pace that feels conversational that you could have a conversation with someone else at um, and you know, speak in full paragraphs. After the warm up, I'm going directly into my speed work. So my first block of speed work is three minutes at a hard, fast pace. As you can tell here, I'm going much faster, probably around a 6:30 or so pace. And then after that, I'm taking two minutes to jog, recover, and recuperate. Once I'm done with that two minute rest, I'm going into two minutes fast, followed up by two minutes slow recovery. And then after that, I'm doing one minute fast, followed by one minute recovery. Now that right there is one set. I'm gonna repeat that three times with a three minute jog in between each set. So as you can see, this workout incorporates running at faster paces with running at slower paces. The word fart like itself means speed play, playing around with different speeds and paces in the run. The purpose of speed workouts and what they do for you is they get your body used to running at those faster paces, but it also gives you a little bit of a break. So you go hard for three minutes, but then you have two minutes to rest and recover. And it's just super helpful to get you ready for your next set. And the idea is throughout the course of your marathon training, you're building up the amount of time you can sustain at those faster paces. So you're not gonna get faster just by doing one speed workout. It's something you need to incorporate throughout your weekly training at least once a week if you wanna see like the actual benefit of these speed workouts. For me, I did three sets of this workout, but if you're not quite at that fitness level or if you're beyond that fitness level, the great thing about Fartlex is you can kind of play around with them and customize them and just make them fit your specific needs. So I did three sets and then after that, I took a minute and a half to rest, get some electrolytes, and then I went for a two mile cool down. And then after an hour and 10 minutes of running, Running, my workout was complete. All right, 10 mile speed workout is complete. It feels amazing to get that done with. This is also a reminder not to just wear like a normal t-shirt because look at how, look at that, look how stuck it, look at my nipple. It's like an air pocket. But yeah, like this thing is soaking wet. Like I could jump into the pool right now and it would be less wet than how wet it is right now. What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? Feels good though, kinda feels good to sweat that much. But always remember if you're sweating a lot, replenish with electrolytes. There's like no better feeling than like, you'll be mid run craving an ice cold drink and then when you finish your run, just being able to knock one back. It's the best thing ever. As much as I dread workouts like today because they're tough and you have to put forth a lot of effort, they are the most important thing you can be doing each week, at least once a week, to become a faster runner. There are a ton of great speed workouts out there, but all of them are gonna include some combination of running at a fast pace with running at a slow pace. And the goal is to build you up over the weeks to get you to be able to last at those fast paces for longer. If you look back at week one of my marathon prep, I was doing a seven mile fartlek only doing 30 seconds at a fast pace at a time. And now if you flash forward eight weeks to where I'm at now, I just did a 10 mile fartlek where I was able to run three minutes fast at a time or two minutes fast at a time and then one minute fast at a time. So as you can tell, my endurance at those fast paces has built up over the past eight weeks. And the goal is from here until the marathon, I'll continue to improve the amount of time I'm able to spend at those fast paces and eventually be able to do it for 26.2 miles.
All right, next up on the agenda, time to get some food, because I probably burned like a thousand calories on that run. Generally, it's like every one mile is a hundred calories, so I've got a thousand calories to replenish. So I'm gonna go get some steak tacos. There's nothing better than a steak taco, but nothing grosser than a chicken taco. Remember that. That is gonna wrap up the video. Thank you all so much for watching. There's gonna be a new video next week and I'm always open to suggestions. So if there's ever a video idea or concept or question you have, let me know in the comments. I'll be reading through those and responding to you. Drop a like. Also make sure you're subscribed because you don't wanna miss any posts. But that's about it. I will see you all next week.